Um, so we got Jamie Armel rocking out the green white Tron list. One of our players that has always been so good. What? Yo! Oh, thank Who's you, Matt that? Manson. Matt Manson, keep up the awesome job, guys. The content is great. Dude, the $50 <laughs> row nation. Holy moly. Awesome. Glad you're liking the stream tonight. I need, I need all the hype in chat. Right. Show me, oh my dogs, for that sick donation from Matt Manson. Hold on. Don't worry. I got you. There yeah. we go. Yeah. yeah, that's that's some good hype you got there, bud. <laughs> yeah. You really... <laughs> bringing the hype. You really did it. <laughs> Those I'm cats going. super proud. This is the first channel about magic that I see that commentates the games. Um, Tron versus Infect, GG. Yeah, so we've talked about this, and one of the things that we like to do with Modern Magic Mondays is educational and entertainment. Those are our two big things that we're trying to go for here. Educational, because we want to be able to educate newer players or players trying to get into Modern or trying to just get better at Modern kind of what is going on, what's happening, why, why are people playing the things that they're playing. <laughs> Look, I'm bringing the hype. Uh, you right. Emote only, here. guys. Let's get it going. <laughs> you all are in chat. Yo, Captain Harris with the follow. Thank you so much, dude. Yes. No, oh, it's, this. All right, there it is. Next yeah. game. Roo, roo, roo. <laughs> We're getting ready. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the decks real quick. I'm actually running the new and improved... Well, not really. <laughs> this is my no Gataxian pros because there are two modern events coming up in February that I'm going to be playing Infect at um, regionals and the team event. Mm -hmm. um, so I decided nice. I need to really just hammer down and start getting some practice in now, knowing that Gataxian probe's gone. I have to get as much practice in now before those events. So I've taken them out of my deck. So you actually get to see. A version of Infect without Gataxian probes versus Green White Tron, which, for those that don't know, is a list that was created to deal with Infect and deal with Dredge. So you can imagine how much fun this is going to be. So, yeah, and look, here we go. Jamie says, Horizon Canopy, I'm going to go to 19 and path. Your Ghost huh. Elf here. That's weird. That's uh. Who would have thought? I mean, it's... <laughs> that seems pretty good. Yo, Matt Manson again, dude. Thank you so much for that fifty dollars donation. That is super sick. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, we're. I set it up uh to the end of February to try to see if we can make one hundred and fifty, and we've already made a hundred bucks. There you go. So Holy we've had some Lord. awesome viewers sitting at home watching. I probably wrecked chat by using emote only. No, I just don't. <laughs> yeah. I do not care. Only two minutes. Emote only is over, guys. Let's get that discussion going again. Really sorry. <laughs> we had to get that hype going. <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to chip away all my life here. Now, the, the whole thing about using the fetch here to go for the forest um, is always iffy when you're playing against a white deck. Um because you're set up that if he pass, you're going to have no other targets. Mm. So. So, turn three, Wild Defiance. Yep, and we'll Jamie's going to Sylvan Scry. Yep, and then that's all he can do. Right where that card should be. Not in an Infect deck. <laughs> Man, not, not in an Love Infect it. deck. It's all right. Blighted Agent. Noble and uh, pass pack. People comment about my weird shuffling. I don't know. I shuffle cards. It's what I do. All right, so Jamie here not going to get Tron on this turn because he played that turn one Horizon Canopy. Sure. So I know that I am safe against Karn or any other shenanigans like that. The only thing I have to worry about um, is him being able to path it. And he's actually choosing to use his only green source right now to look at his top couple cards. Um, which, knowing that, unless he plays a map or, a, or I mean, unless he plays, yeah, a star or a sphere or something like that, I'm pretty much set up to be able to deal a lot of damage to him. Sure. 
and then cycle the star, float yeah. green. Uh, I think he floats a white here. Oh, okay. Well, he's representing maybe a path. Yeah, basically. I think I don't remember what specifically, but I think he opts for white in that situation. Um, and then once he cracks that and doesn't do anything, I basically know. Okay, coast is clear. I can kill you here. Um, Planet agent. Exalted trigger. Exalted trigger. Here we go. Apostles. Oh, starts off with an apostles. Okay. I'll just say pro white. Sure. Seems like a good choice. And blossoming, blossoming defense, defense plus trigger. Two. Yep. So, so six, that's ten. seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, that's ten. Drewski brew! Woohoo! It's yo, Drewski with the twenty dollar bronation. Missed last week. Thanks for the stream. Glad you're able to tune in this week, sir. Dude, thanks, man. Appreciate that. I'm not going to do emote only again. <laughs> get that hype really. going. <laughs> but if you guys want to do emotes, that's fine. Yeah. Get but those get those cats going, guys. We won't limit it to just emotes. Yeah, we'll get some discussion still going in there. But if you want to throw a couple cats up in stream. Yeah, you yeah. say cats, but... Puh. All right. We got some sideboards. Yeah, sure. Who would you like to read off? <laughs> Um, well, I'm going to let you defend your own sideboard, so let's go <laughs> two Rest in Peace, one Malira Silva Galcast, one Leyline of Sanctity, three Warping Whale, one Nature's Claim, one Emrakul the Aeon's Torn, three Blessed Alliance, two Thrag Tusk, and one Path to Exile. Now, I'm going to tell you what he doesn't want to bring in. <laughs> okay. All right. He doesn't want to bring in that Leyline. Nope. Of Sanctity. Nope, doesn't need um, it. That Emrakul, the Aeon's Thorn, there's plenty of other cards in the sideboard that I think are fine. Yep. Um, even the Thrag Tusk, yeah. I'm not even worried yeah. about that. Rest in peace. Rest in peace? Uh, not really now. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure you told him at some point what you're... Oh, he already knew that. I was not playing Ataxian so, Pro. So, I mean, he's, he's probably fine there as well. But uh, that Malira looks really good. Yeah. Um, those three Blessed Alliance look great. Yeah. Look super good. And uh, even that that fourth path, I'm, yeah. I'm assuming that like that is all great cards for him to have. Um, so my list is in need of a little bit of updating, um, and I have updated it since this. But yo, what you got? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rarus, Thank you so much for the follow. I tried dude. so hard. Thank you so I much. Tried. Just <laughs> thank <know>. you. <laughs> Um, so, I've got one Pith Needle, one Graph Digger's Cage, one Spell Skite. There's one Spell Skite main, for those wondering. Two Dispel, two Relic, two Kitchen Finks, one Twisted Image. There's also one in the main. One Thing in the Ice, three Nature's Claim, and one Pulse of Marasa. Um, I actually bring in two cards. That's it. Two of them. Pith and Needle. Sure. And Dispel. So what are you what are you trying to hit with that pithing needle? Um, Karn or Oblivion Stone, mm. um, whichever seems like it might become more of an issue. Gotcha. Um, Ugin is also a target available to me. Like it's set up that there there's actually a lot of relevant targets uh, for me to try to go for by using pithing needle and knowing that he is running path. And knowing that he's got Blessed Alliances in his sideboard because it is the blue-white version, I know that having that ex that Dispel in there actually becomes relevant. Um, so I do opt for one of. Depending on how game two goes, I have that option that I can always bring in um, a second one. Mm. So I end up mulliganing down to six. And opt to keep... Double checking if I want to keep it on top and feel comfortable enough with it. And another Horizon Canopy into a star, and he will pass on over. Perfect. I believe this is, yeah, another just whoosh, elf. Drop down to 18. And we'll cycle that and immediately pass that away. Um, so this is pretty much mirroring how the first game went. And when Julie was playing earlier, playing against the Demir control, um, I had talked about whether keeping your infect creatures back if you have protection in your hand. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Unless you have multiple infect creatures. 
Um, like if I'm running Ink Moth or if I have another Infect creature, sending somebody out early like this to have a get path can actually become more beneficial to get myself a free land and not have to worry about it later on. Um, so now I'm actually set up so he had path me. I have the mana to be able to cast Blighted Agent and still have that land drop this turn to be able to protect him. Well, that makes sense. Um, and I know that he played that Horizon Canopy first, so he doesn't have Tron on turn three. Mm -hmm. So, Might of Old Carosa. Bam! Combat. There's five. So we'll handle deal in five and then just pass on back. Oops. And here's a map. So Jamie in need of getting a Tron piece here, looks like. Yeah, he definitely he definitely needs There is a path in it, and so he just kind of shrugs and says, you know what, I'm gonna try it. And there's a blossoming defense for me. Oh, and oh nice guy. I let figured I, I'd help him out. Yeah, here, let me. I know that you had to use that, that one life there yep. for that horizon camp. Sure. Be. And so I'll go to 17 as well. Voodoo Turtle! <laughs> you yeah! Did it too. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Voodoo. <laughs> wow, I saw the, the inner gears <laughs> turning. <laughs> like... Oh, Mutaran! Thank you for the follow! Hey man, you, you don't have to yell. I do. There's I get a, hyped. There's a microphone here. Should I get real close and try to yell? Oh, no. no. <laughs> don't do that. No, I'm Thank you so much, dude. Get hyped, man. Um, People are following us. Dude, you gotta yell. Dude, I'm hyped. I'm just really Surprise. happy that you're able to uh, Addy get the not, names. Yeah, Addy hasn't jumped off my lap yet. <laughs> Mine's kicked. He kind of shrugs because that's five damage. Wow. And there's the game. Wow. So hyped. So hyped. So, hmm. Yep. In fact, guys, even if you're running green white, you could still lose, and you don't even need Cataxium probes. Dude, you played Tron. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Calm down. Let's, I let's hate take, Tron. Let's, I let's, hate Tron. Let's take a step off the pedestal that you're currently on. All right, you played Tron. Yes. What is what is the Tron answer normally? Uh, well, in this list, you know, it's got Path, it's got Blossom. Sure. Defense. Karn is pretty scary. Yeah. Catfax, yes! <laughs> Karn liberated. That is the answer. Yeah, yeah I hate And he started with the Horizon Canopy both games. That was great. And he passed, but he passed my guy both times, turn one, too. So, like, I had, I, you know, I had to work my way back up. Whatever you say, dude. <laughs> Whatever you say. Okay. <sighs> yeah, so. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Tron's general it's play conceding. is conceded. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, I got him! Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> Come on. You got you were you were so happy when Dwayne lost, so I gotta be happy when I kill Tron, right? <laughs> right. <You're> right. <laughs> got him. All right. Stormbred Dragon. <laughs> so, we're halfway through. We've Wait. gotten our three rounds in. So, <laughs> per use, what we do is we check our points, we do our thank yous, all that kind of normal stuff that, that we set up to do. Um, so course thank you you guys you sitting at home and watching us tonight guys mm -hmm. we appreciate you guys tuning in if this is your first time watching we would recommend you subscribing so you know when we're going to be going live which is every monday 6 30 p.m mm -hmm. eastern simple and easy for all of you guys yeah. um we do have a lot of content that we're going to start bringing to you in the future we have a special saturday event that we're going to be doing this saturday going to be locking down the time and we'll be tweeting out about that once we get it solidified for you guys so if you're not following our twitters Mm -hmm. You know, the real Nan Man, Farmer Zernar, and at Modern Mondays, we'll let you know when we're going to be doing some magic related content. Please don't follow at Modern Magic. It is that is that is not us. That is not that is that is some developer somewhere, and he was not very happy you when I accidentally used him. He says, "Hey, right. hey, this, don't do that. This is not me. <laughs> My bad." Um, so, you know, we really appreciate it if you guys are checking out all that other stuff. We have a YouTube channel set up for all the VODs. You can actually, if you're on the Twitch channel, scroll down, mm. and there's a banner for YouTube. You just click on that, and it'll go right to it. Once we get up to 100 subscribers there, we do get access to the URL that yep. we want. So a little bit of fun fact for all you guys sitting at home and those watching from 
YouTube. Thanks for watching over there. Exactly. As well. And tell your friends. Spread if you word. miss it on Mondays here at twitch.tv slash modern magic Mondays, we broadcast rebroadcast it Re on Wednesdays. It what time do we say? It, it varies. It varies. It will be up <laughs> It'll at be in some the point it's, in, it's the in the evening time. Eastern Standard Time yes. on Wednesdays. So that's just another Anytime place to see the entire show. Six and eight o'clock, give or take, is when it's usually getting broadcasted gotcha. out. Eastern. Right. So, um, but we have a couple of people to thank. Yes. Uh, we always start off with the. Did you guys talk about Brett's new deck yet? What's Brett's new deck? Hold oh, that your, thought. Your standard deck? I don't think so. <laughs> Let's hold that thought. Uh, to trip at Comic Fun Koo, mm -hmm. who lets us put on all of this content. Um, you know, record the matches there, provide us the place to play Magic each and every week. Thank you so much, dude. And then we also have Dionysus Bacchus, Christopher Bennett, Judge Extraordinaire, yes. uh, General Manager of the Cork Street Tavern. Great food. Uh, great food. And um, thank you, dude, as well. There you are, patron donor. Oh, copycat. Yeah, no, we haven't talked uh, about yeah. it yet. Um, oh, the cat packs didn't work. Patron donors. Um, you know, kind of donating every month to help us get this channel to where we would like it to be. Um, and then we also have uh, Matt Manson, who we saw on, on just in the, in the clutch, throwing that fifty dollars donation. Dude, thank you again yes. for that. And then we also have Chris Carozza, season three season champion, three champion, who tossed a couple bucks our way on Patreon, mm -hmm. who has now earned his spot in the play a game of Magic against Nan. <laughs> He gets to play a game of Magic Online with us. Us. And it can be a draft. It could be modern, mm. if he'd like. He gets to decide where he'd prefer it to be. Yeah. Don't have standard, so we can't play standard. But we could play modern, or we could play draft. Yeah. Cube draft, even. You know, you want to draft the new set? Sure, we can, we'll draft the new set with you. You can draft. You know? I, I can draft. <laughs> draft. And then, because it is at the $10 backer level on Patreon, we get to record those up and post those up on YouTube for other people to be able to enjoy. So just a little fun thank you that we get to do for him. Um, also, for those that donate, whether you donate on Patreon or to the regular stream itself, you get a sticker just for donating because you guys are awesome. We always do kind of a giveaway um, at the end of the stream anyway. You have to be following the stream to be eligible to win one of those awesome stickers. <gasps> Cat lights. So, I don't know. Cat lights up. There you go. I Zeta. fell apart at the end. I <laughs> fell apart. I tried so Thank hard. Thank you so much for the support. Um, Appreciate that. But there's a couple people. Yo! Goober1501. You could just do 1501. Oh, but thank you, you know. so much for the support. <laughs> yeah. So we've got a couple people in particular that we'd like to thank who's helped to donate, helped us be able to get these cool stickers, get the dice that you see on camera that are nice and big so you can show it really well. The awesome play mat. Got a new camera. All kinds of good stuff that we've been able to do. Um, T-shirts. We did get the T-shirts that, for those that did back the project, should be sending out on Friday, I think. Yep. They'll be sent out for those that uh, are getting those. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to look into potentially sweatshirts in the near future. So keep your guys' mm -hmm. um, eyes open for those. But some of the awesome people. Drewski Brew, number one. We saw him jumping up earlier, donating a little bit to our cause. He is amazing. Thank you, Drewski. Glad you're liking it. Yo, NakoCon, thank you so much for the thank follow. You, thank you. Our mystery donor, Atticus, who was sitting on my lap earlier. We finally scared him away with all of the yelling that I was doing. Um, we have also had Tatradamus, Dionysus Bacchus, Muscles, Yo, host Muscles the stream with the host. Where are my lantern peeps at? <laughs> you may be the only one, my friend. Lilo Goif. Yeah, you got it. Bam, bam. ZTA, just the letters. Nate Hop 34, Burgleton, Stormdust 07, Badger 934, Strong Smash, Weeaboo Wet Dream, Hell Shock, and then of course we had Matthew Manson also throwing some money our way tonight as well. So, Spada, I think. awesome, awesome, awesome. Speaking <laughs> of holding shirts. out for a John G. A John G. <laughs> Good old John G. We're actually looking for some a John G ones. Oh, jeez. <laughs> um,. Any ad nauseum gameplay? Not tonight. Um, we pretty much have two ad nauseum players. Or no, we have, we have one ad nauseum player that plays from time to time. Mm -hmm. Two living in players that play from time to time, just not as often. Um, so, not tonight. Yeah, it's a pants stream tonight, guys. Yeah, yeah please. Um, so let's check our point totals, because that's what you're here for, to see these matches. We've done three. We got two more to go. So let's take, take a look, shall we? 
Ooh, TJ's on a roll. Bauer, like you were talking about earlier, like he comes back and it's like, you know what? I feel like just telling you, getting you know, twelve points, fifteen points. Don't mind me. We'll see what happens though. Yeah. If he's going to get his points. A lot of six pointers sitting through the list. A lot of three pointers. And Ryan, our only zero pointer right now. I guess having a bad night. Yeah, he's a he's a new face to mm -hmm. the uh, to Modern Magic Mondays. Um, but he, I believe he also played in the tournament on the 7th. Um, oh, cool. So uh, I didn't get to speak to him on Tuesday, but I did recognize him. Mm, nice. And I think I recognized him from that event. So mm -hmm. awesome to see people coming out. Also cool to see, like, Kyle Hadberg, one of our players from Season 1. Yeah. Made it into the invitation from Season 1. Hasn't been able to play as often due to work and stuff like that, but actually coming out a lot more now for this season. So a lot of faces that you see kind of rotate in and out between the seasons and stuff like that is, is back in it there. So um, do you have a date for the Front Royal broadcast yet, actually? We do. It is going to be this coming Saturday. We're locking down the time for when we're going to start. We're probably going to start earlier in the morning between that, like, I, I would say 9 o'clock maybe. 10 o'clock, I don't know, somewhere around there. We're trying to get it usually earlier in the morning. Plus, there's going to be a lot of people doing sealed and standard and stuff like that. So we wanted to make sure we had some broadcasts of some modern on Saturday for you all to be able to enjoy. Um, but we're going to see which player is going to continue this undefeated